What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. What we're gonna be going through in this video particularly is how to build an affiliate marketing website online completely free. So that means you don't need any money, you don't need any real kind of previous experience because by following this step-by-step -step tutorial, you'll be able to get up a free website in no time and start making that affiliate cash. So what we're gonna do is get straight into this video. First thing that we're gonna go through is picking a niche. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the list of hobbies on the Wikipedia page. All right, so we've got a ton of different options here. So you've got 3D printing, acting, diving. There's so many different industries. And the reason why I want you to come to this page in particular is purely because we're going to make it around something that has different arms and legs branching off of it. So this is going to be like the centralized kind of topic that you're going to cover. But within that, we're going to be able to break into different subsections. So let's pick juggling. Okay, so this seems like something that would be uh, relatively low competition just because it's not something that everyone's into. So, it's, you know, you might not find a lot of search traffic behind it, but you will definitely find that there will be lower competition uh, sites around this kind of industry. Okay, yeah. so this is Google Trends. You can easily find it by just typing Google Trends into Google. And as you can see over time, uh, this has been diminishing. So this is within the last 12 months, but let's actually set this to the past five years and see the, the general overview view of exactly what's happening around juggling okay so generally you want to look at the uh, lowest lows and the highest highs okay so you can see it's kind of going down so if we take a look at snorkeling it's kind of just staying plateauing like where it was essentially i mean the lowest lows are coming down so it's it's somewhat on a on a, on a downwards trajectory but i do believe this kind of industry has a lot of potential because it's something that is not going to disappear in the next 10 years 20 years or maybe even 100 years or ever with this and we look at snorkeling the competition could well likely be a lot higher because it's a way more popular topic okay so what we're going to do now is move on to some keyword research and the reason why we're doing that now is purely because we want to establish that there's somewhat of a demand behind this industry before we actually make the final step of creating a site around it okay. so, so, so the fastest way that we're going to be able to gather some information is to go and find a site that we can drum in and and reverse their keywords on Best juggling balls for beginners and then this brings up a bunch of different sites within the page one results so we've got juggling for beginners.com so let's take a look at this renegade juggling here all right so what's really good straight away about this is it has a lot of organic keywords now that's very important for us because we want the most potential amount of data that we can get to in order to filter down and get to those keywords that we're trying to find okay so what I'm gonna do is go to uh, organic keywords because that's where we want to be and then I'm going to set up a few filters. So the first thing that we're going to do is reverse that site and bring up all the best keywords. So all I did was best in to include keywords in the filters and then that will give us the option. Now because we're on a free account we can only set one filter at a time. So you could remove that and then potentially set the difficulty 0 to 20 or you could do one or the other. So let's have a look if we can actually do that now. Yeah and it's not going to bring up anything. Sort the difficulty now by lowest uh, to highest. Now we've got these low ones which it's saying these three are easy okay so we've got best juggling balls best juggling soccer ball I mean these are still not that easy so maybe we need to come and find a different site and reverse that or we could uh, go and find some more keywords directly in the tool Okay, so what I did is I came over to the keyword ideas tab, was able to uh, drum in best juggling. And from there, you'll be able to see all of the different suggestions. Okay, so you've got questions, propositions, so on. Yeah, best professional juggling balls, a volume of 10. We don't want anything with less than the 10 volume. We've got best juggling balls for professional, uh, best way to learn juggling. So that's not so much product focus, but that's an informational term you could go for. Best juggling tricks for soccer, uh, best juggling pins okay so that's something you might be able to rank for best juggling football best juggling bean bags so these are a few different terms that it's showing us are green and uh, of low competition so i'll start with the easiest first and and then target those more difficult ones later but what you want to do is make a note and uh, highlight all of the ones that you need and then a copy to clipboard and uh, you'll be able to paste that into like a notes or something like that for later reference okay so the way you can quickly bring up a bunch of different terms on 
on information is just by putting like how and then asterisks the little and then juggling or whatever industry you're in yeah? and that will bring up a bunch of how-to keywords in the earlier stages i would say just stick to the how keywords and stick to the best buy type okay then what you want to do is sort difficulty from lowest to highest and you've got a bunch that are all under 20 that we can pull out and just like that we've got a bunch of new pieces of content that we can create and uh, rank in google okay and these are all low competition terms that we can verify later down the road the next site we're going to go to is wordpress.com so we're just going to click get started sign in with your google account okay domain so just going to put juggling and it will it will basically suggest a bunch of juggling domains that are available to us we're going to have one of these kind of free accounts because right now because this video is completely based on free okay but if you did want to purchase it it's going to give you the options right there of the different names that you could have if you were to pay we've now got our domain set up but the next thing that we need to do is set up our website this is already being hosted and everything by wordpress and and this is your site okay so you've got this site here uh, that you now own okay so give yourself a pat on the back if you've uh, followed the video this far okay so here are some of the free themes just make sure that it's basic it's not anything fancy because we're essentially just going to get people here so we can refer them over to our amazon product i'd probably go for this out of all of them that probably looks the most suitable to be honest if you really want to make the money inside of this video and follow the steps and actually get some results then just follow it step by step use this theme and once you get some results you start seeing it happen you can then obviously tweak and change things now in regards to customizing the home page and all of that stuff you can do that but make sure you don't spend more than a day on that because you don't want to spend too much time doing things that are not really going to get you results all right so the next thing we're going to do is go to home page menus and uh, this is where you'd be able to set up any menus or anything like that like your categories and stuff like that so what you would do usually um, at this point is this is where you would set up the different things within the uh, industry okay so you could do like supplies and then have all of the different supplies under there so you could have juggling balls juggling knives juggling this this that supplies and we would add that now within a subcategory of supplies we'd have juggling balls okay so we do juggling balls the others we wouldn't do right now because we can do that down the road and the way to make that a subcategory of supplies section you'd pull that to the right so now supplies has balls underneath it okay and then we'd click save the next thing we're going to do site identity okay so this is where you'd create a logo 2400 by 350 so the way you would do that is just go to a site called canva and all you do with canva is sign in with the gmail account that you've already created personal so we just say personal maybe later so what you can do here is you can create your own logo okay so if we're going to do something along the lines of juggling you might want to get a juggling ball or something like that and then add that in okay so we've got all of these different things uh, that could make our logos so you could have something like this add a bit of text or something like that yeah i mean you could make it look a lot better than that but that's something you could you could easily work with now if you're going to keep it free you are going to have to use the watermarked version and then now we've got this logo here okay now when we come to home page settings we're going to want to keep this to your latest post the reason why is because we're not going to tweak or change the home page right now our main thing is to get some content up once we've got that content up it can start ranking in google we can start making money but you're going to name your site you would put and then this will be the tagline so that could be you know in a few words explain what it's about okay so we're going to change this and go to nice lovely logo and click done okay so now we've got a site logo and a site title juggling tips or whatever we call the site is what you would put here a launch site that's if you wanted to launch it we're not going to do that just yet so i'm just currently editing the video and i realized that i never done like an entry mine has glasses to the next section where i'm talking about how to start up your amazon affiliate so what we do is we head over to amazon affiliate in google and then once we arrive there we put in our email address and, and create example, a account. website or whatever it may be okay so we could just uh, click next okay so just want to select no there so this is where you would essentially put whatever kind of id you want to be used on the end of your links um, to any amazon products or the actual website name okay that's what i would usually put because that will basically help you to identify what specific tracking id this belongs to okay? uh, what are your mobile apps about juggling games okay and then primary topic let's have a look here so you would just put down that whatever it kind of uh, relates to i'm just going 
going to put other and then we've got clothing shoes toys i've got sports and outdoors all of that kind of stuff we've got a content or niche website so that's exactly what we're going to do and then we're going to do seo we'll put in email because down the road we might do some of that and uh, social networks will do. Okay, select primary. We're gonna say that we're only doing Amazon affiliate at the moment, content management system. Okay, so you wanna put like 500 to 5,000 here, because if you put zero, they're probably not gonna allow you. Word of mouth, okay? So that's just for their research purposes. And then uh, finish. So we now have an Amazon Associates account, okay? So this is gonna ask you for your tax information. Of course, all of that is down to you. But what we do have is a tracking ID, okay? So the next thing that you're gonna to need to install is Site Stripe, And that's gonna be something that you get from Amazon's affiliate program, all right? So if we say later to this, I'll show you how to install Site Stripe. So this is gonna show you all the different things, okay? The walkthrough and whatever else. And then this is where your earnings would show. So that's how quick you could set this up. Um, I mean, your tax you can do within the next 30 days or whatever and get that set up. Don't worry about it for the purpose of this video, okay? And then what we're gonna do is go to tools and then site stripe. So what site stripe is, is this bar along the top, okay? So it's very simple to um, install. And what it is, is you'll get a particular tracking ID when you sign up to it. So I've already got site stripe installed on my computer. If I go to any product on Amazon, I'll be able to video promote. I'm gonna share with you my on-page SEO checklist. This is gonna give you a general idea of the things that you need to follow when you create a new piece of content. Then we're gonna go out and I'm gonna show you just briefly how to create a piece of content. And then you rinse to repeat that method for the rest of the uh, keywords on your list and by following the steps in this video you should easily be able to start ranking and get some traffic so what we've got here is a target keyword in the h1 so we've got something called heading structures inside of seo and what that means is you have a h1 and anything that goes under a h1 is a h2 which is a subtopic now for h1s you only use that as your main heading wordpress luckily does that for you all right so this page gives us a good idea this is your your main heading which WordPress does for you and then any subcategories that we're diving into will be H2 so those are main subtopics we're covering but anything that's a subtopic of those will then go into a H3 and then you follow that step for a H4 if it was a subtopic of something that was a subtopic of the H3 okay so when you go H2, if it goes in deeper, you go H3. And if you come back to another main topic, it goes back to a H2. All right, so how so we're good. gonna figure out what to write on is by taking a look at what people are already doing. So one of the things that we know people are gonna be looking for is how to choose the balls, things that they might wanna consider, things they might wanna avoid, general things of when you're making a buying decision. So anything that helps them is gonna help us, okay? So if you wanna figure out how long do you write this content, I would say don't really keep to a specific word count, but if you do wanna gauge, then come and look at the top three articles on Google and see what they're doing and, and kind of work out an average from that. So if we take a look at this, juggling balls at the top of the article, uh, what to look for in juggling balls, so that's quite important. So what to look for in high quality and then, and then we've got straight into the content. So one of the things that we're gonna cover is what to look for, okay? And then if we come back, one of the sections we can actually use is this section here. This gives us a good idea of the other things that people want to know when they're typing in best juggling balls. Now we're gonna target best juggling balls for beginners, but this gives us a helpful idea on the kind of template that we need to uh, go by. What juggling balls do pros use? Okay, so we don't really need to go from professionals because that's a different article. How do you choose juggling balls? So that's very relevant to us, yeah? How do you choose the best balls? Okay, so you can reword that in your own way, but what we would do is open up a Google Doc and we're gonna create that content in here. So what's really good about Google Notes is it allows you to set up these heading structures inside of here. So you can do heading one and apply heading one and it will do that for you. So now that's set up, that's your main title. You would have an introduction now, I usually follow just writing a basic bullet pointed introduction. So what you want to do is come in with, you always want to follow that same structure. That's what I tend to do for my site. So this is where we would follow the on-page SEO guide because we can see question. Okay, we've done that bullet points. Yeah, YouTube video if possible. So we might move that a bit lower. The next thing we're going to do is uh, go into our main product. So what we want to do when we're describing a product is we want to describe why we chose the product, what's great about it, and uh, potentially where to get it or how it works, okay? So we wanna describe how the product works or how it helps people or what it does to give them a general idea. So you always wanna follow those same steps. So we would do product uh, description here and then we would click his text and copy the link inside of that, okay? So that would give you that specific link and then you would come back to this uh, post here and you'd paste that link in there, example.com. Uh, and then now that would be a link, okay, off to your affiliate page. Page. 
page and that would take them to this page but when they go through it it would you would get paid for it okay now the next thing we're gonna do is we'd add a YouTube video that's just as simple as going on to YouTube and all we would do is find some review around a particular product if it was the product that we're trying to promote that's great but if you just find something like how to juggle or something like that something that's related to it it will keep people on the page and increase your user experience okay now the next thing is uh, we're gonna go in with another heading so this is gonna be like for example what we would do is we'd have a YouTube video here we'd go in with another heading so say for example um, something like that so it's just a variation of it and then we would have um, the top five products in order of lists so all the products that we've chosen would have one what we're doing is we're always following this here okay so we're trying to follow this so we've got a few more h2s so this is where we would put in our question so anything that we found on the results page of google or from any other articles we put in so how do you choose the best juggling balls that's something we would now enter into this uh, piece of content so that's another thing we'd answer maybe in around two three hundred words 200 words okay so how heavy should juggling balls be for beginners that's a perfect question to put within our post okay so that's something else now we're going to go in with this our reviews of the insert keyword here our reviews of the top or best juggling balls for beginners okay so that's all you would do so you would take the keyword here you just put it in there okay so that's it our reviews of the best blah 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 now this would be h2 this would be a h2 this would be a h2 all of these are h2s now when we go in with a product specifically they're going to be all h3s now if you want images of any of the products you can easily grab that from amazon so if you actually go over to amazon's page you go to any of the products you hover over and then you right click on the image you can copy image address so this is making sure that it's within their terms and conditions and what you can do is you'll be able to paste an image um, where, wherever you want inside of your site okay so if we add image insert from url and you paste you can see that's the image from amazon website okay so what we're going to do next is go in with our top products so something like that that would go in as a h3 under topic here yeah so that's basically telling google this is a subtopic of this main subtopic here h2 h3 and what we want to do with these products again is we want to describe why we chose it what makes it great or something unique a unique selling point about it we then want to go in with how the product works and then where to get hold of it or how to get hold of it okay number one product again the reason why we put that at the bottom again is because a lot of people are going to skimp and scroll through your page so if they do and they land at the bottom we've got the top product again touch base on what makes it great again how it works and where to get it and then link out to it now in the last bit we'd conclude with our final thoughts and then wrap everything up now to give you a perspective on how this works and how we'd put this into your wordpress website if we were to take the content from this uh, page here just for argument's sake you'd see that uh, once we have it from the google uh, page there we'd paste this all in and now we have this page set up so all we would do is take our h1 title from here and best blah 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 for beginners and um, all i would do is add like top 5 21 review okay so i'll do that for all of them top five best blah 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 20 or 21 review just do that again and again if it's a how to just keep it the same and you can add like five simple steps or whatever else in that particular thing now all we would do to this is add some outbound links and then uh, we're good to go to be honest you would make sure that the uh, permalink is fine so what that is is you know it's in the right category and that and that's about it to be honest there isn't really much more you could add a featured image so the image of the post that you want to show up on your home page for the actual little thumbnail you would add that in here so that you could choose from your media library on your website you know if that was the post or whatever we'd add that in there if we were to actually take a look at this post now you'd be able to see that this is a post that can show up on google and start bringing you traffic and if someone was to click that um, they can go off to your affiliate link which you can see obviously that company life whatever it is affiliate link here is there and that's exactly how affiliate marketing works now as you keep posting and posting and posting around a particular topic google will start to pick up on your site and start to send you traffic when you start to get traffic you're going to get people coming through and clicking links on your site going off and making purchases on amazon and then of course from that point you'll have enough money to reinvest into a proper hosting and start to pay for this of where you can get more features more functionality uh, to allow you to step things up a level but if you did enjoy it make sure to smash the like button if you are brand new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions about setting up a free website leave them in the comments below because i'll be sure to get back to you asap rocky all right then thank you and i'll see you in the next one peace